Jennifer here today, and today we are doing part two of the Genesis spawn locations. So as you can see here, we are in the volcanic area, and it is hot. Um, this is volcanic north, and um, yeah, we're going to check it out and see if we can actually survive in the volcano area, and maybe pick some spots to build. What is this? Is this real water? Oh, it's real water. Check that out. I thought it would be bad water. Well, you know. So, um, I did the first episode, um, and we did the water, the ice, or the snow, and the bog. The bog was absolutely horrific. And now we are doing today the volcanic and the space, um, biomes as you will if you will you know what i mean whatever um so the volcanic is hot and dangerous and the space is going to be floaty and dangerous i might have to um spawn myself in like a um, i forget what it is but it's something so we can at least breathe there so we're gonna instant die but we'll check it out and see first before i um do any of that so you know what we spawned in a pretty decent location like look at all these herbivores it is the easter event right now so we do have some pretty cool looking dinosaurs that i want to go and tame myself but i'll save that for an another time so it looks like we're super hot i have i noticed there's some bug following us but you know that's okay um maybe don't go into the bubbling water so here's some lava this is a Crazy cool. I love the volcanic um, biome. It's super neat. It's so fun. So there are some new creatures in this area. You have the Magnosaur, where you have to retrieve his eggs. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. You have to retrieve his eggs, um, like a rock drake or a wizard, um, in the lava cave. I guess, is it a cave? It's, it's inside the mountain, so we're going to call it a cave. Um, but yeah, so it's like super cool, super dangerous. Um, and if you don't know exactly how to find it, why are you dead, sir? Oh, well, if there is a mission, so if you don't know how to find it, you can go and look it up uh, on Helena or HLNA, sorry. So you can um, learn how to do it, I guess. There's a cool little mission to do that. So I'm going to say this is a pretty decent place. Like, Nothing's really getting us. I love these guys. They're so cute. So I'm going to bring you to the next teleportation place. And uh, I'll be right back. So we're now in the northeast. Now what I did notice is that um, we're losing our water pretty quickly. But if we can drink this, then yeah, we're fine. So we're losing health because we're thirsty and it's hot and all that kind of stuff. So I guess you have to kind of find a place that's located close to the uh, water, which is, looks pretty simple. We found water a lot. So like I would even build here, but finding resources, this is where we're probably going to find some difficulty because like, as you can see, we have some trees, we have some stone. Okay. So I wonder if there's like fiber easy accessible is there berries easily accessible can we pick these like does this give us anything okay so it does give us stuff fiber so i would say this is pretty decent um we're going to so north that east like is easy like i swear the bog is harder than any of the other locations we've been to um we're just dying because it's hot like i don't understand we're thirsty is it because it's hot? I don't really even know. And all we see is herbivores so far. So this is pretty good. I would say Northeast, decent as well. Like, just make sure you buy some water, I'm assuming. Like, I'm not hungry. Water decreases much faster. But that's about it. But why am I dying? That's so weird. Anyways, so this place is way way better oh oh maybe except for some really cool olives check those guys out oh my gosh look at this queen in one i need you in my life that's so cool well 
I would say this is a decent place also to build. Um, just maybe watch out for those guys. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's kind of sometimes broken danger to overcome danger. So I'm gonna bring you guys back. Let's go say hi. Keep peeking and get me. Oh, okay. we're now in the east. So. Oh, there's avalanches here too. Whoa. Watch out for the avalanches. So a couple of new other dinosaurs um, or animals in the Genesis 2 lava and um, space biome. You have the space whale. Um, I cannot pronounce that for the life of me, but those are super cool. Oh, what's over there? Some RGs fighting some thorny dragons. Okay, how about not? Um, you also have the Magnusaur, like I mentioned. The Tetrike and the corrupted master controller and i'm assuming that's like the guy you fight at the end which is really cool some new resources is the amber which you can find in the lunar biome i think it's poop from the uh whale but correct me if i'm wrong you have shell fragments um that you can grind into chitin um in the industrial grind grinder and it replaces uh keratin as well so that's super cool oh it's super hot over here eh? look at wow i love this this is such a fantastic oh did we just witness oh i'm sorry bud and i just want to say a super thank you to all my current subscribers and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button and if you do like what i'm providing for you today feel free to concentrate you got this hit that like button well we just oh, got the we'll movie yet that was great so awesome my heart is still beating from that oh my gosh all these x creatures are so beautiful like i love them all like i just i can't even handle it this is so crazy so we're now in the southeast just saying um that's, that was a little scary. What in the oh? I thought it was something falling, but it's just a jug bug. I think that's a water jug bug or an oil jug bug. I'm not too sure. But anyway, they look like they're falling from far away. Look at all the colors. Oh, there's Mr. T Rex boy. Hi, Mr. T Rex. Oh, is that them fighting over there? That's them fighting. Almost sounds like a terror bird. Weird. Um, so, like, building in here is, like, scarce for resources, but, like, I've built, I've actually built in, like, close to the lava over there, so I could have some breed my magnusars and stuff like that. Um, it's not too bad if you find the right location. Uh, you just have to be, like, I would say not, maybe you could start off here but as you can see i'm using health as it is so i wouldn't say a hundred percent that you could but if you wanted to try it's not like impossible oh look there's a menu store do you see that oh so cool oh those guys are cool so like yeah like i would say maybe medium level maybe have a couple tanks to bring over here so you can fight stuff off but it's not like crazy like the bog where everything's attacking you every 2.2 seconds like as you can tell we've made it pretty far and pretty well oh this is such a beautiful map i love like even the mountains in the distance or the volcanoes in the di distance if you will it's super awesome Look at this guy. He's so cute. They're so adorable. I don't know why. I just think they're so cute. So I'm going to bring you guys back. Like, I think you could even build here. Like, you have the trees-ish. A couple. A couple. Like, you're going to have to be looking for some trees, I'm assuming. Lots of rock, though. And, you know, fiber. So I'm going to bring you guys back uh, to the uh, south location. We are now in the south. Um, excuse you, miss. This isn't too bad. Again, like tons and tons of herbivores. And they're not really fighting anything. So, like, I would say I feel super safe. Look at that stego. Oh, my God, that's so cool. So, 
so some of the new weapons on this map um, that are super awesome are the cruise missile, the electronic binoculars, a fish net, a loot crate, which I showed you in my first video um, that you can buy from Helena, a mining drill, which you can use and is really cool to use. You can get so much stuff from it. Um, tech stuff like tech claws, a tech grenade launcher, and tech shoulder cannon. And you also have the hover skiff, which you can um, receive like a uh, blueprint to build. And it's super cool and super fun to drive. Like it is awesome. Oh, look at all that. So this, this map like feature a few new things that are like really cool to see oh there's a thorny dragon up there um and you also have like an ocean platform you can build off of and a pressure plate which is kind of like so you can place it in front of your doors and the doors open and close if you don't have like s plus or anything like that oh that guy's strong oh, like i said this place is pretty decent like it is hard to find like resources so uh, like i said before like being like a newer player might be a little difficult, but even like just a couple of levels up with like one or two teams and you should be okay um, to be able to build, but you have to be very, very careful of um, when the vo volcano goes off because you can get um, things that hit you during the volcano going off um, and you also have to clearly be careful in this heat because it's like clearly killing us. So I'm going to bring you guys back to the next a teleportation station. Oh my gosh. We are now in the southwest. My galley scared me. Another cool thing about this map is that um, like the little mini missions, you also have like mini bot battles that kind of remind me of like if you've ever played on the extinction map, they have like um, the, the drops where you have to like protect it and then you get like some super awesome loot. So it's kind of like that and you do get loot out of it but it's like they choose you get to choose like certain weapons like they're around the arena and you can pick these different weapons and like a whole crap ton of different things um like different animals come and attack you and there's like different levels so i think those are really cool and they're really fun to play this map has like so many fun little mini games like i said in the previous video that makes it like like, if you're just bored of the normal daily grind of arc, just come over here and you guys, like, you don't even understand. It's so fun because you can, like, just do, like, so many different random things on this map. It is awesome. And I really, really enjoy it. Oh, what's this guy doing? Why is he... Oh, can't jump up that. Oh, they're going to fight the Magnosaurs. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. They're so big and so nice. Look at them. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So, I think this is, like, it's decent because it's kind of quiet. If you can find a nice quiet spot, maybe build on top of a rock or something, you're going to be pretty good. What's going on? Oh, oh, hi. What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? Oh, I was killed by a basilisk. Oh, yeah, there's basilisk. We are now in the west. I thought I heard a thorny dragon. Okay, okay, so let's just see where we have been. So we have been... Well, we've been pretty, like, in the same spot, pretty much. Let's go have a look over here. Like, look at that. Like, look at those, like... Are those, like, bones sticking out of the... Oh, do these hurt? I forget if those hurt or not. Oh, I forget. Shall we try for science? Let's try it. Do they hurt? No. <laughs> they look like they should hurt. Can you pick them? No. So, I would say, like, try to, like I said, build up on, like, a rock or something. But you're... Also remember that your structures take damage as well, um, especially when that volcano erupts. So keep that in mind. And some people say that it actually like targets you no matter where you are. So I think we're gonna, maybe we can get a 
volcano eruption. That would be kind of cool to see and witness. And then, like, you can see all the different things that kind of, like, fall from the sky and how they may or may not target you. Why is this guy running? Why are these guys running? Oh, because of the main resource. So these guys just, like, love hanging out all over. Um. Yeah. Oh, I can't even jump right now. Let's maybe we'll miss his attacks. Did they kill him? No, he's still alive. They're just turning around, right? I think so. Sometimes the animals act, act so weird in this game. Like, you're like, um, shouldn't you guys be fighting right now? Like, what's going on? Oh, no, okay. Oh, I almost fell in. I'll bring you guys back to the last teleportation area in the volcanic biome. So I'll be right back. We're in the last spawn location, or teleportation location, um, which is the northwest. The volcano is erupting right now, so I wonder if we'll see some big lava ball coming in and getting us. Um, this place does not look very appealing, but in the northwest, look at all these trees. Like, I think this is maybe one of the most trees we've seen. There's water right here. So we're filling up on water. I, I don't know, is the water good to drink? I don't know. Maybe it's not. Um, we got lots of rock, we got lots of stone. You have ankies. Somewhere, I swear I saw an anky, but I could be lying. Some trikes at least. Um, you do have some, what looks like to be T-Rexes. So maybe that's not the greatest, but like just thinking resource wise, this is awesome. Like, this is the most resources I've seen. And that looks like the entrance to the cave. Or am I wrong? I could be wrong. So, there's like, you know, you could get your first T-Rex over here too. So, you know, build yourself a little house, build yourself a little trap, and get going with the T-Rex teams right off the bat. This is like, super cool. Oh, we can swim, but it's like, Ew, look at it, it's like gross. You can't even see under it. Oh, and we're on that border wall. So, where are we on the map? Have a look. So, we're up like right in the corner of it. Oh, yeah, there's a Minky. Hi, bud. I'm in 35. Look at that. You can have a 135 Minky right off the bat. That's awesome. Gotta get that metal. Okay, lots of swimming over here too. We got some oh, 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 oh. Um. Hi, hi. Okay, well, we wanted to go to space anyways. So, um. Oh, you're stuck. Haha, <laughs> fuck. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um. These T Rexes are so weird. That's so weird. Anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys down back to the space teleportation locations. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. He's like literally running from me. survive long enough to teleport. Either it's too sunny and we burn to death, or we have 5,000 things chasing after us it's trying to kill us when we're trying to teleport. But I would just say don't spawn here until you're ready, which is clearly you need a hazmat suit um, and or tech suit.
So as you can tell, the lunar biome is actually super very hard because you can't even, like, I didn't have time to, like, move around. I didn't have time to do anything. So don't spawn them first off. Get yourself a hazmat suit or a tech suit before you go on adventure up there. There's tons of tech stuff though, so it's super fun and super cool to go and hang out up there. And as well, the space world there. So I think that's it for today, guys. If you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you do like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. And let me know down below where your favorite spawn location is on Genesis and how you like to prepare for the other biomes. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.